guys we are currently anchored in for the friends and Enrique has actually gone to San Anne, which is 20 miles from here to pick up some of our parcels that were delivered there we initially wanted to go in a couple of days to retrieve them but turns out the agency where the parcels are is about to close so if we don't get them today we might not be able to get them anymore and we're also actually planning to check out soon and go to St. Vincent and the Grenadines but we don't want to do that without our mail so Enrique is gone to catch a bus here from Fort de France because it's the best connection the problem is that the two boxes are massive and he can't take them on the bus with him so he told me that he was able to catch a ride to go to Anstalle, which is basically halfway and I'm gonna take Cuba from Fort de France to meet him there <laughs> so <laughs> that's gonna be interesting because this is a pretty busy area but I think it's gonna be okay and yeah this is gonna be the first time that I'm taking the boat all by myself and and it goes nowhere preparation before lifting anchor together so I'm the one who closes all of the hatches and makes sure everything is stored away and then Enrique checks the instruments and the engine so I'm just making sure this time when I do everything I don't miss anything okay I already checked the belt and the cooling water and I'm just gonna check the oil Last thing I want is any trouble with the engine. I don't know if you can see, but this is spot on. So we're good. Next I turn all of our systems on. So AIS, central navigation, the radio, and turn our anchor alarm off so it's not driving me crazy as soon as I Start moving the boat. Instead of lifting the dinghy up the davits, I decided to tow it. I know you will be telling me now that I'm being lazy, and I am. But the weather is calm, and I will be sailing close to the coast. So at least for this time, I should be fine. I left you in Proton. So you already forgot something. You can hear it beeping. Let me just check that we got enough water coming out. Yep. Time to lift the anchor. The pivotal moment. Guys, the tricky thing is when you're single-handed, you don't have anybody on the helm. So I made sure there's no one on my leeward side and no one right behind me because as soon as I start taking the anchor up, of course, if there are only a few meters left, the boat will start dragging, especially now that we're having some gusts and it will start moving while I'm still doing things here. So I really want to make sure I have space to secure the anchor and make it back to the helm before <laughs> we get into close to anything else. The engine is obviously already on and getting warm so I can do this here and by the time the anchor is up I can use the engine without like, putting too much stress on it right away. The one time Nick is not here I'm catching a big rock and I can't get it off the anchor 
stuck in there. Hopefully poked into the anchor. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, the boat is an autopilot. There's no danger around, but really, honestly, I'm starting to panic here. Mm, come off, get off. Okay, guys, look. I managed to take some of it off with a hammer. <laughs> course a little bit because I was going into some sort of industrial area and there was a ferry passing me really close but I think I've almost got it off now I hope I can't do this much longer If I would have had to go out into the open, that would have been really, really difficult. Let me just close this here. <laughs> the camera is full of bits. <laughs> Rock bits. It's good that Nick is not here, so he can't smell me. Because, yeah, I do smell like an old flounder right now. Pushed my face, but my life jacket still needs washing as well. Guys, in the end, I haven't even left the Bay of Fort de France, or I think they call it the cul de sac, the Fort de France. So it's a big, kind of shallow area with some hazards in between. But at least, like, I was able to put the boat in autopilot, let it really go slow, and there was just one more sailboat out and a ferry passing by. So I was able to do this and not hit big waves yet and stronger winds because otherwise I don't really know what I would have done but um, yeah it's, it's these things of course every time you do something for the first time things have to go wrong Getting out of the 
bay here and now I'm finally on the way <laughs> to meet the Nike after I feel I've been hacking there in the fall for the past two hours. It's probably been that long. But no, now it's success. I'm moving forward and I have a point to sail. Couldn't get better than this but I don't want to shout just yet. I'm not there yet so but whoa I'm here by myself. Guys, I don't know if you can see the container ship over there. It was anchored when I was hacking by the bow and I kept an eye on it. It's like, okay, it's not moving. I'm good. I'm good because I was directly in the channel where all of the container ships come in behind Port de France. And now that I got the sails up, now it's actually moving right into the direction where it's just come from. <laughs> Usually when you exit a big bay like Fort de France the wind curls so I was anticipating for the wind to shift here but it looks like I'm going all the way in a broad reach for the anchorage. guys I'm just gonna turn the engine on now because I'm less than a mile from the anchorage but it's really tricky to sail in because obviously the wind is coming right out of the anchorage so just to get the motor warm before I enter and then get the sail down I'm just gonna get the dinghy in because I still have the painter out and while I'm maneuvering through an anchorage I don't want an owl that far. The last thing that you want is get the painter accidentally into your propeller or get stuck on something because the dinghy is 10 meters behind the boat. fishing buoys at the end so I won't be able to wedge myself in there without the danger of drifting into one of these buoys as I am sorting out the anchor so I'm taking the less 
busy corner here where there are some fewer boats and I'm just gonna drop Bianca behind one of the monoholes that I can see here at the end. It also goes quickly pretty deep there where everybody is so it might be a little bit tricky for me to find a space but there is a nice kind of open field here. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna quickly prepare the anchor. So now when I get my spot and I'm ready, I just have to go to the front and press a button because otherwise I might have to still like push the anchor out. But now it's all prepared. Okay, I got about 5.5 meters under the keel, which is perfect. It doesn't look like there are any fishing buoys around, and it looks like I'm on a sandy patch. I'm so prepared already. One more step and I have finally arrived. Let me put the boat in reverse to see if the, the anchor is holding. Yes, yes, yes. Autopilot telling me I'm off course. Of course I'm off course because I don't have any propulsion. So this would be the time that there's the danger of the dinghy painter getting into the propeller. <laughs> it's dark now, but I'm here. I made it. <laughs> the anchor is holding. <laughs> I didn't drown the boat. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and guess what, guys? Enrico's not even here yet. He's still on the way. <laughs> he got delayed himself. So I was hurrying up so much to make it here and not get him worried. And now I'm here waiting. <laughs> well, it's all good. <laughs> What a day, what a day. Oh, I think I deserve a good cup of tea now to calm my nerves and enjoy this beautiful setting until I can pick up my naked. Oh. I'm beat, I'm done for the day. I'm coming out of Fort de France with that massive rock on the bow <laughs> was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I know that most girls from other sailing channels are probably way better in doing this than me and they can sail the boat themselves single-handedly but this boat actually i didn't have any sailing experience before i moved on to cuba and she is big so i always felt 46 foot we have 150 percent genoa but i made it my goal to become more confident and do things that are out of my comfort zone and hacking off a rock from the bow, bow of the boat for an hour straight in the Bay of Fort de France was definitely not in my comfort zone. I'm here. Good night. Here we go.